By now you've already heard Nigo of Human Made and formerly of Bape Fame is taking the artistic director position for Kenzo. Let's talk about it. I'm your boy Reggie Casual and this is The State. So yes, Nigo is taking the top spot at Kenzo, which is one of the most bizarre yet welcome announcements to come post Fashion Week. First, the deets, and then my response. Born out of France in 1970, the Kenzo label, formerly known as Jungle Jap, that's not a joke, it really was, was started by the late renowned Japanese designer, no less, Kenzo Takada. It's also important to remember that while Kenzo himself was, is Japanese, the label itself is branded as a French luxury house whose use of color and experimentation is well documented. However, Kenzo, the designer, sold the rights to Kenzo, the label in 1993 to LVMH, subsequently retired the designer in 1999. And since that time, Kenzo has peaked its head a few times in the fashion industry, but the infrequent bursts of relevance made the label an inconsistent outlier, albeit with a dedicated fan base. That being said, the brand has not had an artistic director of Japanese descent since Takada left, making Nigo's entry one of the most fitting assignments the industry has produced in recent years. So we can actually give them a round of applause for on this one. In Nigo's more than 30 year career, he's worked with and opened numerous labels, including but not limited to Human Made, Doubtful is Double, worked with Uniqlo, of course, Babe, and not to mention his collabs with Louis Vuitton itself. The latter in LV seems to have been the catalyst for making this happen. The last two Nigo LV collabs were received incredibly well, and it proved Nigo had the chops to not only work within the realm of luxury, but he could also translate his language and style of design, that is design language, into something that is palatable for the industry traditionalists and newcomers alike. Kenzo seems to be an almost perfect place to stress test this both philosophically and practically as Nigo's name will almost assuredly spark more interest in the label and the extended budget will allow Nigo to take on quite possibly the most challenging job of his career. Said LVMH Fashion Group CEO Sidney Teledano, the arrival of an extremely talented Japanese designer in Nigo will allow us to write a new page in the history of the house that Takada Kenzo founded. I'm convinced that the creativity and innovation of Nigo, as well as his attachment to the history of that house, will fully express all the potential of Kenzo. Thoughts, or at least mine? Well, this is one of the most obvious slam dunks ever. Nigo's cachet is almost beyond reproach and his instincts have been incredibly keen post bait. By keeping his new brand, or newer brand, Human Made purposely small, he allowed himself to be spread out between jobs with Uniqlo, Adidas, and frequent collabs. He's quite possibly, quite possibly the hardest working man in fashion, and his pedigree speaks for himself. I suppose there should be a bit of reflection as well, because it seems fitting that after losing Kenzo Takada, the designer, to COVID-19, unfortunately, Nigo would replace him. What better person to invoke what Kenzo represented than another Japanese designer who went against the status quo and created a behemoth, sold said behemoth, only to keep working on numerous projects. In a sense, Nigo is very much a spiritual successor to Kenzo himself, Kenzo Takada. And we can only hope Nigo in his wisdom continues or at the very least invokes a bit of the old Kenzo spirit back into the label. That's not to say that the last two years under Filippo Oliviera Baptista were lackluster, it's just that his hiring wasn't as blockbuster as Nigo. That's not his fault. Clearly LVMH as an entire group is starting to make power moves and sees these old streetwear stalwarts as the future of the fashion business. And it makes sense as the industry moves ever so slightly away from the highbrow socialites towards the highbrow street community filled with rappers and actors. Nigo will almost certainly attract a few of them. So in conclusion, very good effing choice. And here's hoping Kenzo gets a bit more shine under the direction of one of Japan's most successful street heads. That's the state, that's what I got to say. But what about you? How do you feel about Nigo's new job starting in this month? <laughs> 
from the time of this video. And if you wanna get in on a range of topics in real time, join me on Instagram Live by following The Casual and Reggie Casual. Or maybe you wanna learn how to start your own personal and or fashion brand. Well, we got you on that too. Check us out on Patreon to get access to our brand building series class, our private Discord, and monthly webinar. But most importantly, keep it locked right here for all of your info in international street fashion culture and business. From Tokyo, it's your boy, and keep it casual. And I will see you guys in a minute.